Ella no quiere flores, ni tarjeticas de colores. Ella es práctica, chica, no quiere que la controle. No le gustan las personas, ella es práctica, chica, ella no quiere flores. Ni tarjeticas de colores, ella es práctica, chica, no quiere que la controle. No le gustan las personas, ella es práctica, chica, práctica. Ella es práctica, chica, práctica. Stretching to top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool. So let's try to understand eight moves of merengue, and then we will start doing the same moves with dumbbells. Okay. Cool. So let's start with the first one, merengue march. So merengue march consists of three things which is marching which is a very nice walking along with hip movement 
along with hip movement and with running hands with running hands so again let me repeat so merenge march consists of total three things moving of hands like this like running hands so that is first part second thing moving of the hip and the third one moving of legs what is movement of legs here they are just walking they are just walking so hands hips legs 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 you can you can smile also like this hands hips legs 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 okay so now take dumbbells into hands now take dumbbells into hands so now take dumbbells into hands ah try to do the same now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 
Right. Okay. So you need to catch the bus and you need to run very, uh, I mean, you need to walk very fast. You need to catch the bus. Otherwise bus will miss. How generally you walk? Can you please show? And while this walking, while you are doing this walking, your hip should move. That's a simple condition. So you have to walk fast. Don't run. Huh? Don't. No, no running. Okay. So only walking. Speed walk and your hip should move or else bus will miss. Speed walking, speed walking with hips or else bus will miss. Yeah, show me three, two, one, go. Right, right. Obviously, uh, correct. Very good, very good. Wait, don't go, don't go, I'm coming. Okay, so very few people, they lacked very nicely. Huh? Okay, sometimes I say, I, I believe like this, dancing is nothing but acting, especially for the people who don't want to dance or like who don't like dance or like who are dancing from yesterday. Dancing is just like acting for the people who don't want to dance, who are not liking dance, or who are starting dance from yesterday. So always, it's an act. Hey, we have to act, okay? So hey, you act like moving, you act like walking, you act like running. Three, two, one, go. Act, 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 Okay, so in this way, the natural flow will come into the body. Cool, right. So now, movement number two, which is merengue corners. This merengue corners, like the same merengue march we are doing to both the corners in six count, like this. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. What is that? One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one more time. Let me show you this direction. Now in slow motion. Now in slow motion, let me try to show you. Three, two, one, go. One, my right leg, two, my left leg, three, my right leg, four, my left leg, five, my le right leg, and then left leg back. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 So now what I'm doing, so my legs are super straight while doing this. My legs are super straight while doing this. So the first and foremost, how Samir stands always while dancing and how I recommend all my dancers also to stand while dancing. It's not super straight legs. Always legs are little bent. While dancing, let's not stand like this. Let's stand like this. And it doesn't mean you have to stand like this. No, I'm not talking. Little bit means you are flexible at the legs. You are very flexible at the legs. So that is what I am I am trying to say here. Okay. So generally how you stand, show me. Generally, generally how you stand, not while dancing. If you want to stand, how you will stand? 
Okay, so while dancing, how you will stand? Ah, so few people, when they are changing, when they are changing, they are trying to, so in, in the body, this motion is coming, okay? Hey, while dancing, how are you standing? Then immediately, few people, their body went like this. Ah, so now like this bounce, this jerk, we are trying to get in the body because of the knees, okay? So now, with the knees bent, so that like our body is so flexible, so that like we are going to the corners. So right corner, right leg, left leg, right leg, left corner, left leg, right leg, left leg. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Okay. So can you please, uh, everyone please unmute. Everyone please un unmute. Uh, now you tell me to which corner I need to go. What are the six count? You people please try to tell me. Okay. What is one? Right leg first. Right leg. Right corner. Right leg to right corner. Right leg to right corner. Okay. This is one. Okay. Left leg to right corner. Right corner. Left, okay, left leg to right corner. Okay. Right leg back. Right leg back. Right leg back. Okay. Left leg left corner. Left leg to left corner. Okay. Right leg right leg to left corner. Right left to left. Right leg to left corner. Okay. Left leg back. Left leg to back. Okay. Right leg right leg to right corner. Okay. Okay. Right leg back. Okay. Left leg left corner. Left corner. Okay. Right leg left corner. Okay. Left leg left corner. Okay. Left leg Okay. Yeah. So thanks for involving. Now with this involvement, what will happen? Remaining people who did not understand little bit, they will immediately think, oh my God, my remaining colleagues, remaining friends are following. They are trying to tell what is right leg, what is left leg, where it is going, where it is not going. So, but like I'm not able to tell, let me tell this time also. So in that way, like they will become alert. So very simple way we are doing in six count. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So exhibiting, exhibiting merengue body style while doing this is very, very important. Okay. Everybody knows, easily understands the structure. Okay. Hey, I need to go right. Three count. Then I need to go left. Three count. Everyone can say this easily, but like what is little tricky? Moving your body like this, even to the corners. See, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a little tricky. You, your practice should go based on this. Towards this. Okay. Right. So just do the merengue march to the corners. Okay. How I practiced while I was learning this. So first, only I practiced right corner. I did not go for left corner. I practiced only right corner first. One, two, three. Okay. One more time. One, two, three. Okay. One more time. One, two, three. So only on the right corner, I focused and I practiced. Then only I went for left corner. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three. So this also I'm counting as one, two, three for my easy reference. So one, two, three will become so fast to our mouth than four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Four, five, six. Okay. So if you match, one, two, three will have little rhythm, rhythmic beat. Okay. So three, two, one, go. One, two, three. Okay. One, no. One, hey, right leg, wait, left leg needs to go. Yeah, left leg, go. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, very good. One, two, three, very good. One, two, three. But now, 
1 to 3 plus 1 to 3. 1 to 3 to right corner, 1 to 3 to left corner. In that way, let's try to do this. 3, 2, 1, go. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Right, like now the third one is a two step. So for a two step, we are keeping the hand vertically. We are keeping the hand vertically like this. So, how generally we say Zindabad, Jai Hind. Okay, so generally how we do? So, like vertical hand. And in this vertical hand, we are holding a dumbbell. In this vertical hand, we are holding a dumbbell like this okay yeah and then the hands are going sides okay i'm sorry today my second dumbbell is missing somewhere and even um, you, you you cannot imagine so yesterday a few um, my cousins kids came because of the summer holidays so like and and i went to movie last night i went to movie last night and I did not enter to my dance room. Okay, so morning only I entered. By 5.55 once I entered, okay, so I cannot see like everything in its own place. So the second dumbbell is missing. My everyday camera is missing. Okay, so, and that's the reason. So today it got delayed. So kids are crazy, but like, so last evening they did a bit more crazy. Okay, yeah, any, that's the reason I'm just... <laughs> I'm trying to manage with a single dumbbell. Okay. And for one more dumbbell, if I want to use, let me use the bottle. Okay. Right. Cool. So, so with the dumbbell, I'm just holding, but anyway, like your one more dumbbell should be there here. So down in the hand. So for that reason, I'm let me using, this is a half filled bottle only. I'm not feeling any weight in this. Okay. So, but like consider it as a dumbbell. So one dumbbell in your left hand, one dumbbell in your right hand, so which is actually lifting the weight to top, lifting the weight to top, cool. So now, so your weight is driving your move, your weight is driving your move, like this, so towards right first, so one, two, three, four. Now with the other dumbbell, so your weight will drive you to left, 4, 5, 6, 7, that way. So if you go 3 count or 3 count or 2 count or 2 count, but like remember your weight is driving your body, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And remember this is straight hand. 
So few people, they do this mistake. They are doing like this. One, two, three, four. It's not a mistake. No, no movement is wrong or mistake in dance. But like here, what happens is, I want to maintain, okay? So you people to maintain 90 degrees angle first. If you are starting the movement two step with the dumbbells, please start with the vertical hand. And after that, for taking rest or moving uh, in a nice space, you can go for a horizontal hand, okay? But like the original one, which gives more results and benefits is vertical hand. Okay, always it's vertical hand, right? It is like more intercepting. Elbow intercepting is easy. It can intercept very easily, but like this much vertical hand intercepting the space, which gives a lot of friction in the air so that like the muzzle turning happens automatically. One cage will become two cage. One cage dumbbell will become two cage dumbbell during this interception. Cool? Right. So now, uh, very quickly, I want you people to do one simple activity. What are the benefits of lifting weight? Maybe you can use Google or you can use ChatGPT, whatever you want to use, please use. I want two to three benefits if we lift weights every day. Simple lifts. If we are lifting weights every day, what are the benefits that our body is getting? Just to two to three benefits. If people, anyone knows already, you can tell, or else the people who don't know, quickly Muscle Google lift. it and let me know. Muscles become strong. Okay, muscles become strong. Okay, what else? Cardio improvement. Endurance will be improved strength. Body exactly. Okay. So let's let's stop it. Bindu ma'am's word, endurance. Ah, what is meant by endurance? Yes. I want a very clear and simple meaning of endurance. Like the stamina, increase of stamina. Stamina, building of stamina. You can run longer, do things, you know, like that. Okay. So even let me also ask Google in this way, what is the simple meaning of endurance? That is what I'm typing. What is the simple meaning of endurance? Okay. So endurance is the power to withstand something challenging. For example, if you decide to run a marathon, you will need lots of endurance to run over 26 miles. Huh. So after 20 miles, if you cannot run the remaining six miles, then also if you exhibit, if your body is trying to complete those remaining six miles, then that comes under endurance. Okay, very nice example I got. So what is it is saying? Power to withstand something challenging. For example, if I am lifting the weight, no, no need of lifting the weight. For example, forget about the weight. Okay, so keep, keep the hands like this. Without, without, without dumbbells only, okay? The people who are doing with dumbbells also fine, okay? So without dumbbells also, why? Our body needs endurance. Let's try to understand. Keep the hands like this. So till I say down, so please try to keep like this. Don't move, huh? don't move, like this only. Like this only. Let's, let's see who will keep the hands for more time. Please keep like this only. Okay. Everyone is in the position. Whoever switched on the camera, they are doing this. Cool. Okay. Yeah, few hands started shivering already. I'm seeing there are few people whose hands are started shivering. Okay, few hands are still firm. Okay, keep going. Don't give up. Don't give up. Few people are giving expressions that 
Samir, at the shoulders, pain is starting. Ah, yes, yes. So that is the outcome. Wait, 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 wait. F few people are acting that like they are getting itching and like they are they are itching. No, no, no cheating. No cheating. You have to keep like this only. No cheating. Ah. Samir, I am not able to do. Ah, no, 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 no. You have to keep. Now, like this is becoming challenging. Then also you are trying to keep the hand straight. So now this uh, this is where endurance comes into the picture. This is where endurance comes into the picture. Oh my God, Samir, hands weight is getting increased. Yes, that is expected. Okay, still many people they did not give up. Okay, two people they gave up already. Okay, but remaining people they did not give up. Few people's hands slowly they are going down without their notice. No, 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 no cheating. No cheating. Yogita, hands, hands little bit up. No coming down, no coming down. Right, continue, continue, continue. Okay, whose, whose hands are paining? Please move your head right and left, right and left. Oh, everyone's. Okay, relax. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now uh, just imagine without dumbbells in the hands, like so. After some time, so the problem came like this. Okay, but like if you hold dumbbells, if you hold dumbbells, just imagine. So you cannot uh, do this much time also. So now in this time, even though hands are paining, even though situation is becoming challenging, I am trying to keep my hands like this only. But how long the duration, how long your body can do this. Okay. So that is what endurance duration, which is very, very important. That is what we are trying to do every day. So Generally in the body balancing, uh, when we are doing rikshasan, when we are doing uh, rikshasan. So for example, if you are keeping like this, okay. So if you, if you are keeping like this, okay. If you are keeping like this, oh my God, Samir balance is not happening. Balancing is not happening, but one fine day, your body will display a very nice thing. Okay. So it will try to balance your own body, but like, do you balance your body for half an hour or 40 minutes? No, maybe day one for one minute, day two, one minute, 10 seconds, day two, one minute, 30 seconds. So your practice towards one moment, your endurance is rising. Okay. So, but because of weight lifting, the 10 seconds endurance may equal to 10 minutes equivalence. That much difference will be there. So few people call it as power lifting. So you know what is power lifting? For example, the same dumbbells if I am using. So people think power lifting is lifting too much of weights and troubling body. No. So power lifting in this way also you can practice. So one dumbbell, one more dumbbell if you are doing like this. Increasing little speed to the weight comes under power lifting. It's not like lifting 50 kgs, 100 kgs one and like shouting. Ah! And no. Okay. So that one everyone cannot do. But like which power lifting everyone can do is you are holding the weight. Maybe you are displaying more speed, little bit speed. But like during this process, in this power lifting or the weight lifting, people will suffer from few hurtings, like few injuries. So how to avoid that? Now, let me show you how to handle a dumbbell. So how to handle a dumbbell, any cage dumbbell, how to handle a dumbbell. Okay. For example, if it is just one cage, but even for that, I will not handle as much as want. So first I'll hold the dumbbell very firmly as over the dance, like over the experience, our body will make this dumbbell friend so that like we will play with this like fingers out and all, but like the people who are very, very beginners, you have to hold the dumbbell like this. Okay. So all the time you are lifting this dumbbell against the gravitational force. Try to remember, for example, how many ways we can lift? Let's try to understand. See, this is one style where dumbbell is seeing up. Okay. Now this is one more style 
where dumbbell is seeing down okay and the third one where dumbbell is we are lifting like this okay if you see fingers are looking down fingers are looking up fingers are looking sides but like now fourth direction samir is it possible uh, uh no so you are not doing twistings with the dumbbells for example if there is no dumbbell if you want to twist your hand see right i mean to left to right you can twist but like with the dumbbells you are, we are not twisting okay so with the dumbbells we are not twisting always it's the comfortable lifting always it's the comfortable lifting no twisting understood it everyone okay there is no twisting so while lifting the dumbbell okay for example the people if anyone is going gym samir like uh, do you have any tips lifting the weight too much of weight in the gyms okay so many people they always goes like this so they goes like this and they hold it and they lift and a few people they will take and they lift but like do you know so the basic principle of ergonomics all the time so your back so your glutes your thighs how it should be part for example this is let us example that's a 50 kg weight okay so 50 kg weight then i am not bending on my back i am just almost trying to sit from in this position i am just lifting so this is the right way of lifting the weight not only this for example if you are lifting a luggage so to put it in the aeroplane or to put it in the bus or to put it in the train okay most of the people what is one mistake they will do that is a weight even though luggage that is with your bag so if your bag okay never and ever lift like this and put it all the time bending at the glutes it's not this it's always this okay so people may think ah i am incapable of lifting the weight people may think no let's not think about the people in this type of situations why because they will not suffer your pain if you get some pain your pain you have to suffer the other people will not suffer okay so this is a brief description about like lifting the weights okay cool so that is the reason we are actually using the dumbbells so thank you bindu for that word endurance now other than endurance one other important word or the description i am looking for yeah so the remaining people your metabolism it increases your inner metabolism oh, sorry my sir it increases your inner metabolism ha ah, okay it increases your inner metabolism okay <laughs> so don't don't tell anything uh, related to muscles why because endurance covers all muscle and bone related thing so endurance covers all bone and muscle related thing other than endurance so mahesh sir is telling that metabolism okay what else good sleep good sleep okay cardio improvement cardio improvement okay what else yeah, i'm not sure but maybe in blood circulation or uh, moving the blockages okay mm -hmm. and you like lean that. body lean body sorry lean body balance okay. oh to to making uh, lean body okay Maybe. bone health okay someone is mentioning in the chat window that is enhanced calorie burn for a good point yes that's that's one good point yes okay what else what else bone health 
okay let me let me uh, reveal so which reduces risk of injury okay so like one one simple point like for example risk of injury i'll i'll tell okay so what is a, a simple injury so previously when we are trying to do this for example if if i am holding like this so 99% is people will get pain here so okay so 99% is people they will get the pain will start at the shoulders okay there are few people who will develop the pain at the elbows there are very few people in, in just counting manner like there are very few people who develops the pain at the elbow region okay so it is the meaning that like hey your bone and muscle toning is very less like for example there is no strength there and your body is so much sophisticated and like likely to get injury so now because of the body weight what will happen in these type of gray areas so they will develop the coordination between muscle and bone the bone density will increase the bone density will increase so muscle will grab so that like the injury part will come down the injury part will come down which are very very important okay so cool so that is related to the weight lifting so thanks for providing your inputs good sleep so good sleep will become because of the good mental health thank you so the people who needs what are the clear advantages so let me give you this article so i i did not publish this article yet okay but like i just wanted to publish whenever i find time but like here in the chat window i am trying to provide so that people will get an idea yeah so i just posted like it's it's bit lengthy but like yeah anyway like i i will print this even in the article my website so that you can have a look cool right so let's let's continue further the next one is the coffee pot movement so what is the third movement we have is a two step and why are we calling it as a two step okay so two step step number 1 step number 2 if i am shifting towards one direction with two steps we are calling that as a two step okay two step two step two step two step so the moment i am keeping hands like this and whenever the weight is driving our body okay two step two step two step two step so if you see here i am not moving we are not moving our hips Le uh, like hands and legs in two step mode it is going right so now like if i include a uh, movement of hip in this one that to just like a coffee pot so if if i keep my body as a coffee pot a coffee pot so nozzle handle the body hmm? now if i am moving my hip so generally people think samir two step the body is keeping straight and we are going side correct yeah this is normal two step but in the coffee pot especially in the merengue movement the body is facing to the corner to which direction i am going if i am going to if now my body is straight it is looking to you if i want to go right my body needs to face to right corner first okay why right corner the moment i face my right corner and i am moving my hip so the people can see the curve okay the people can easily see my hip movement okay so now here even if you do much so people cannot feel and like the pose is not that great but like if i keep facing to my corner if i am moving in two step and moving the hip 1 2 3 4 5 6 so that like the movement you can easily show what movement samir okay both leg movement and hip movement okay what is one mistake people do here they whatever the direction they are moving to the same direction they will move their hip like this 
वन टू थ्री दिस इज नॉट रॉन्ग बट लाइक वी आर लर्निंग मेरेंगे डांस फॉर्म राइट इन मेरेंगे डांस फॉर्म वॉट हैपन्स फॉर द राइट लेग मूवमेंट लेफ्ट हिप विल मूव लाइक दिस so for the right leg movement left hip will move like this for the right leg left hip is moving like this and for the left leg right hip is moving like this for the left leg right hip is moving so i'm telling and i'm commanding to my body like this my dear friends hey left leg while you are moving hey right hip you need to move i am just telling but few people they don't bother about this communication samir you do follow my eyes will follow you how you will do like i will do no please try to tell to your body also okay so now let me check how many of you are having good communication with your body go ahead on my count 3 2 1 coffee pot movement number 1 2 3 4 okay other direction 5 6 7 8 one more time 1 2 3 4 okay so top 10 names let me reveal the top 4 people beena bini jitendra मनी ओके मनी जितेंद्र बिनी बीना ओके सो नाउ माय हैंड्स ऑन माय आईस ऑन रिमेनिंग पीपल गो हेड ऑन माय काउंट थ्री टू वन गो वन टू थ्री फोर ओके बिंदु एंड गीता वेरी गुड नेक्स्ट फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट महेश वेरी गुड मंजुला वेरी गुड ओके right so thank you thank you manju ma'am for bi directional view so that like i can see your both sides movements okay very good so now who is left yogita sara tiru bhavana okay my eyes only on this four people yogita sara tiru and bhavana on my count 3 2 1 go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 very good ha huh. tiru uh, only one correction only one correction okay so where while you are moving like you are moving your hand too much like this this okay that is fine okay but like that should be in your control if you want to move then only move but samir that is going automatically then that is wrong okay the hand movement should be in your control in the part of choreography if you are doing like this or like this or like this so that is fine that is completely fine your body is in your control but samir i don't know my hand is going like this whenever i am moving my hip ha huh. so it means that newton's third law is working more on your hand than your leg so always newton's third law acts nicely on your hands and legs and hips like this the right and the left for every action there is an opposite and equivalent reaction 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 okay so that one you need to follow cool and here is the music try to demonstrate <laughs>
suena. Sola sale en su auto. Llega a la disco y se pide un trago. Lo paga de media su baila sin pena. Y ella no tiene el problema cuando el saca tan tan bruda. Suena. Y ella no. Superb. Okay. And the people who just wanted to demonstrate little speed try to reduce the length between the movements so that like speed will come. So, for example, if you are keeping more distance. Okay, so this is the pace generally you can display. But for example, if you are reducing the length of the moment in between, for example, instead of this, if you are going only this, then the speed will come automatically in the body like this. This formation is coming because yeah. you are not keeping more distance between the legs like this. You are just keeping like this, this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. So practice that also. Now everyone go with the shorter legs. Three, two, one, go. Okay, now hold the dumbbells, please. In the coffee pot movement, try to hold the dumbbells. The dumbbells for coffee pot movement. Three, two, one, and go. Okay, so now like, uh, so far in my journey, you know, like what is the biggest weight people couldn't carry? You know, biggest weight, like what, what is, what is your guess? Anyone wants to guess like the biggest weight that they could not carry? Okay, Bini is weight. telling body five weight. kgs. Okay, Bhavna is telling our body weight. Bini is telling five kgs. The biggest weight they could not carry is the weight of the smile. Okay, the weight of the smile. Okay, they could not carry smile. Okay, so while doing this, <laughs> right? Like, see, now, like, the moment everyone is smiling, so whether, like, how many times I realize you are very beautiful, okay? When did you realize or when you are realizing that that is the best day or the best time, you will not leave your smile. Let me tell you, the moment when you realize your smile is your beauty, so like it, it's it's good. The reason I'm telling, I don't know how many of you done the recordings. Have you seen the recordings? Okay, I'm revealing. Now, if you are smiling and if you are doing, let me tell you, 30 percentage more calorie burn will happen in the body. Okay, I, I'm telling most of the people they are troubling their body like anything when it comes to the dance or like when it comes to the fitness, 
they will jump they will run they will trouble their body okay so they will end up with some injuries but uh, to burn the calories to burn the calories so yesterday i ate biryani which is of 1500 calories so but i need to take only 500 calories so extra 1000 calories i need to burn they do skipping that this but let me tell you so maybe like because while doing swimming because of that water you cannot smile like the other time while skipping while running try to run and do try to smile and run try to smile and do skipping try to smile and do cycling i tell you so you will burn more amount of calories and you will get triple the quantities of benefits than the normal okay so which is very very important please try to understand this so yeah without doing anything also how without doing any physical workout how to burn 1500 calories i have demonstrated in one of the session in 8 to 9 session okay so that is if your brain is thick sorry if your brain is thinking new if your brain is thinking creatively means about new things then the calorie burns happens nicely in the body not the routine not the routine now i need to bath then i need to go office there i need to work not the routine thinking the moment like when your brain thinks creative things calorie burns happen so with the help of a neurologist so while we are working on some patients of anxiety and depression okay i have noticed this we have discussed this even even with few monitors we have analyzed this that's that school experience for me and so far like i am very confident okay nowhere nowhere in the google or uh, or the youtube it's it's not yet published i'm i'm i started writing an article even i completed a book recently so let me let i'll i'll bring that book very soon to you but in the meanwhile i i just wanted to tell this why you should not waste this right like i i know one thing i wanted to share that with you smile thinking new let me tell you what is thinking new for example there is a lady in 8 to 9 batch okay who dances like this so with with her sari with her sari okay so she do she do like this okay so while doing the coffee pot movement so the sweating part like okay right like she does like this so now like let me tell you here more calorie burn will happen so what is trying to do like with her sari like she is to trying to wipe her sweat but background what happens like yeah so many calories are burning than the remaining people okay and few people they generally do like this like samir it is sweating okay so here more calories burns and a few people they look da up they look down they look side they'll ask samir samir how is it they'll burn more calories okay not only that like they are actually not feeling any tiredness also because of these many varieties and these many thought processes so more calorie burn will happen okay so please try to do that okay right cool guys so thank you so much like i just wanted to hold off like 10 minutes before only i need to set up lot of things okay so where like uh, just on a tips i have arranged everything so i need little bit of time to arrange all these things maybe it, it will helpful for the next batch okay so yeah so tomorrow i'll i'll, I'll start on time so no no worries on that cool so any questions from today's session only four movements and along with the dumbbells we have seen so tomorrow's first four movements is very easy <laughs> in first 15 minutes only we will complete remaining time we are not leaving dumbbells the remaining whole time just one break in between we will take but like we will finish the whole session tomorrow with dumbbells and non stop dancing okay so don't forget to wear your smart bands or the fitness watches tomorrow we are tracking how many calories should be burned so target calorie burn tomorrow is 1000 calories so based on that how one fruit and come tomorrow either apple or banana have some energy in your stomach and then come to the session right so let's let's burn that energy during the session cool guys so thanks a lot thanks for your patience yeah
meet you tomorrow bye everyone thanks thank you thank you thank you bye thank you thank you so much bye bye thank you sir